I had to like settle down. I was exci so excited driving uh, this thing a little bit earlier, but I know what a lot of you are going to be um, wanting to know. How easy is this thing to park? So let's do it and find out. First things first, I noticed a new seat design, the lever to operate this seat. Really, really simple in the, um, on the right hand side. Flip up the bolster, super easy, it slides very easily. That gives me quite a bit of space. This um, wheel is adjustable if you had a big gut. Um, you could move it even more, but I've got quite a bit of space there. And moving to the side decks is simple. The midships cleat is a little bit forward. You've got to reach with one arm, but it is reachable. But access to uh, the back of the boat um, and the bow, it's totally doable. You'd, you'd, you'd go to the bow up the port side, but you can go the starboard and use the T-top as a grab hold. And you've got cleats in two locations on the back of the boat, so that's kind of handy. Um, next thing is, like, I can see all the extremities, not a problem. You could seat your guests, keep them out of the way. Even people in the bow lounge can be out of the way because there's a unique design to give you access forward um, uh, when you need. Um, now, next thing, the, the, the bow thruster is just forward of the wheel, and the wheel has a unique design or a sensible design where you can put your finger in between the two metal bits and then do it like that. So if you want to get a little bit of turn on the um, uh, on the wheel quickly, you can. Now, I'm just going to trim the engine up a little bit because we're in shallow water. So I'm just going to come into the dock, just clicking the boat uh, in and out of gear, and I'm just going to show you what you can do with a single engine and a bow thruster boat. So just coming in like this, I'm now going to turn my wheel to the left, give it a little click in forward, and then I'm going to turn my wheel to the right, give it a little click in reverse. That's going to start to align me with the dock itself. But then what I can do is actually just finish that off with the bow thruster. I haven't got my fenders out, um, but see, okay, I didn't need it. But, um, what I'm able to do with this very, very strong bow thruster is, actually I'll put the wheel, spin the wheel back out the other direction. Watch this, you can side slip the thing in and out. So with the wheel pointing away from the dock, I'm just gonna do one click in reverse and then a bow thrust to port. Watch this. So that, with, with an appropriately sized bow thruster, enables you to side slip the thing. So now, now I'm going to go back in. So none of this like, looking like you don't know what you're doing. Well, like this, you can actually just slide it in. And what I'm seeing here is the bow thruster is an appropriate size. See that? I can just control the boat. I'm not even touching. Look, look how much control I've got. So that just says to me, if you are, you know, uh, new to parking boats or if you've come from a, a single engine boat and you think to yourself, oh, my single engine boat's so hard to park, uh, I'm going to need a twin engine boat. I'm telling you, with a boat like this, you don't. The bow thruster is perfect, the hull design, um, or when I say perfect, it is suited to this weight and style of boat. And the hull design is such that the boat wants to track where you point it. So it goes in straight lines. So when I drive it straight, it goes straight. When I reverse it straight, it goes in that direction. Not all boats do that. Some boats want to just kind of go wherever. Um, but when you have a nice deep V hull like this with some directional stability, it goes where you point it. And it just makes um, slow speed maneuvering um, a lot easier. So you don't look stupid. 